श्री गुरु चरण कमले भ्यू नम विदुर महाराज आस्ट मैत्रेय मुनि अबाउट वेन नारायण डिसेपियर्ड लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा started creating can you please tell me how many kinds of creations brahma did this kind of question vidur maharaj asked vidur maharaj wanted to know how many kinds of creations brahma did and furthermore he asked whatever or however many questions i had previously asked please tell me the answers of those as well and remove my doubts this is the duty of guru to remove the doubts of his genuine disciple disciple has to be like parikshit maharaj or vidur maharaj Guru should be like Sukhdev Goswami or Maitreya Muni or Sutta Goswami. Guru should be a pure devotee and able to answer the genuine questions of his real disciple. That is called disciple and guru combination or union. Hearing such questions of my vidur maharaj maitre muni replied virincho bi tatha chakri divyam varsatam tapa lord narayana had told brahma to perform tapasya just see without tapasya nothing comes successful people want to enjoy even on janmashtami day lord krishna's birthday they will prepare cake and eat what is going on my guru srila prabhupad told this in vrindavan janmashtami day you only eat boiled potatoes and lemon juice all the devotees a day before janmashtami day at night he made sure everybody eats at night chapati and sabji and then next day morning nothing to eat only potato and lemon juice that was it now 160 preparations and cake my god what is going on so listen what maitre muni says विरिंचोपी तथा चक्रे दिव्य वर्ष शतम तप आत्मनि आत्मा आवेश्य यदा भगवान ज भगवान ज लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण उज अनबोर्न नारायण द वे ही टोल्ड टू डू वन हंड्रेड सेलेस्टियल इयर्स ऑफ तपस्या Lord Brahma followed his order and performed tapasya he first collected his mind and engaged in the lotus feet of the lord and performed 100 celestial years of tapasya one year of hours is equal to one day of heaven demigods 360 days of demigods is equal to one year of demigods so lord brahma performed 100 years of celestial such years means 300 times 300 no 360 times 360 into 100 means 12 million 960 thousand earthly years that many years lord brahma performed tapasya 
without performing tapasya, one cannot obtain spiritual success or have powers to do anything successfully. Following orders of Krishna is a spiritual act, although this creation was created by, by Brahma, which looks material, which is material, but because it is the order he is following, just like I tell my disciples, oh, sit down here. He's not sitting there. Oh, I tell my disciples, come and sit here. He's not sitting here. He's just following orders, although seems like he's sitting here, same thing. After performing tapasya, Brahma looked. There was a big hurricane to fawn and the waves in the water hitting and his lotus upon which he was sitting is shaking. A lotus was so big, very big, reaching to the heaven almost. Such a huge thing. Sitting, Lord Brahma, great personality. And lotus was shaking because he had obtained power, spiritual power from performing tapasya austerity. One should not perform austerity whimsically. Or because fasting is austerity, let me fast. No, it has to be order received from Guru or Guru should be told. Guru gives permission, then he perform austerity. Like that, Lord Krishna told. He followed Lord Krishna's order. Lord Krishna is his Guru, so he followed his order and performed tapasya like that. So Brahma had that power. So he swallowed the hurricane and extra these waves which were very high. He did not swallow all the air, then there would be no more air. He did not swallow all the waters of the ocean, there would not be no more ocean. That wave, waves he swallowed, the hurricane tufan he swallowed. So every time there is no tufan and hurricane, maybe once or twice a year, something like that. Like that. <clears throat> the lotus was very big. So Lord Brahma decided to enter into the stem of lotus and went inside and came up and divided into three parts. The stem was divided into three parts. Bhu Bhuvatswa means the bottom, middle and the upper. Right there. Three places he divided. By the order of the Supreme, Lord Brahma wanted to create all this universe. Hearing this, uh, Vidur Maharaj asked, you had told previously that the universal form of Lord had created eternal time, time factor. He used time factor. You had said something like that. Can you please clarify? And can you please tell me the symptom of that time factor, what it is? <laughs> Just like Arjuna asking Lord Krishna questions, genuine questions and genuine answers come. <laughs> Hearing this, Maitre Muni said, yes, Lord, the Supreme Lord uses the eternal time, the time factor as his instrument, like a carpenter uses a hammer, like that, something. He uses the eternal time and produces three modes of material nature. And, he, and mixes them with the interaction of three modes of material nature and time factor. Whole creation takes place. Actually, 
time itself has no form, is very subtle. And it is eternal. It never ends. The Supreme Lord used that time as his instrument and as a play he transformed himself into creation. This, these words are misunderstood by Mayavadis. They think the whole thing is God because he God transformed himself into creation. It is not like that. Vaishnavas understand differently. Just like father transforms himself into son. Son is not the father of father or brother of the father. It is something else. So, Devotees understand differently. And that is the exact understanding. Devotees' understanding is exact understanding. The shadow is not the substance, even though shadow is outcome of the substance when it blocks the light. Lord used his own Vishnu Maya, it is called, his own internal potency, and kept everything of the creation within him in subtle form. And by his potency, using time factor, that subtle form was transformed again into gross form means subtle creation was inside again became gross by using time factor and Vishnu Maya combination the, the creation we are seeing now it was also previously similar and it will remain similar in the future means past present future creation remains exactly same no difference maitre muni says yathedanim tatha grecha paschadapi etadi drusham what you see as creation is the same it was before and it will be in the future. No difference. Exactly the same. When you put a pillow in your closet, when you take it out, it also is exactly the same, unchanged like that. <clears throat> then he said, O Vidura, this creation was created in nine different steps, nine different categories. There is one more category which does not fit in exactly nine categories, but a little different. That's why, including that special category, there are ten categories including that special one. Otherwise, exactly nine categories, but include this one. The tenth category is natural category too, but it is unnatural, subtle and gross together. That's why it is not included in nine like that. This creation's destruction, the destruction of creation, annihilation of creation takes place by three factors. Time and material elements and modes, goodness, passion and ignorance. Three. Go and annihilate. But in creation, Kovidura, 
first creation takes place of Mahatattva. Whole material aggregation aggregates. Complete material aggregates, it's called Mahatattva. First material uh, material aggregates, Mahatattva was created by using three modes and eternal time. When eternal time interacted with three modes of material nature, Mahatattva came to exist. When Mahatattva and eternal time combined, interacted, the second creation took place is of false ego. The ego came to exist. in which five material elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether, and five knowledge acquiring senses, nose, eyes, ears, tongue, and skin, and five karmendriyas working senses, hands, feet, mouth, rectum, and generating sense organ. They appeared. Then third creation took place is of five Sense objects. Five sense objects are the form, smell, taste, sound, and touch, in which um, sound is the main. Then fourth category took place fourth category of creation took place is of knowledge of working and working ability. Working ability and working knowledge to work that appeared. Then fifth, fifth creation took place is the presiding deities of all the senses and also mind. Presiding deities of senses and the mind. Sixth creation took place is of ignorance. Ignorance makes the intelligence work reverse. Reverse of intelligence is foolishness, ignorance, avidya in Sanskrit. These are six natural, subtle, not able to see by naked eyes was created. Then creates the gross creation. The seventh one is of immovable living entities, trees, plants, creepers, like that, which don't move, <coughs> grass. The seventh creation is of mm, Animal, moving animals and uh, entities in the water. That is eight, eighth, eighth one. Mm. And 
it is in the water and birds. That's it, creation. Because six were subtle, seventh was immovable, eighth is movable like that. The immovable entities only feel the touch inside their heart. Inside them, they only feel the touch. They cannot feel anything else. They have no knowledge of anything else. The movable entities, they have knowledge. But that knowledge is covered by ignorance, tamoguna. They own, by which they know how to eat, how to sleep, how to drink, how to have sex, and also can smell. But they cannot have any creative intelligence. They cannot plan, think like that. <clears throat> Ninth creation is of human beings. They are of one kind. All of them, all humans. They look different. Size may be different. Color may be different. Power of thinking may be different, but they are of one kind, two legs, two hands, one head, like that. <clears throat> These humans, they eat from up and swallow it down. Others don't do that, only human beings. They eat from top and it goes down. They are mainly governed by passion. They always want to work. They do something. They, they do something. Even if a lazy person, he also eats, puts his bed on, something like that. But the problem with human beings is they think misery-rewarding acts and elements are pleasing. Anything which will, they do not care about consequences. They, oh, they think misery-rewarding that will result them in misery, they think that is pleasing. Say for example, drinking, they think, oh, wonderful drinking, but misery rewarding. It is what is called drunk, it is acts are no good and it can go to hell like that. <clears throat> Besides this, the tenth one is mixed. In that demigods, the forefathers, the demoniac people, their nature is demoniac, but they are not demons. Demoniac. The heavenly singers, called Gantharvas, the kinners, the heavenly dancers, the society girls in heaven called Apsaras, semi-demigods are called Yakyas, Rakyasas, demons. Demons and demoniacs are two different demons. The perfect beings, Siddhas, who perform austerities, Then ghosts, devils, Bhuta Pisacha, they were created. 
in this creation, the four Kumaras are also there. Sanaka, Sanandana, Sanatana, Sanat Kumar. Four Kumaras are also there. These four Kumaras are neither gross creation of Lord Brahma nor subtle creation because they move around this whole creation and also go beyond this creation to the spiritual world and talk to the Lord. They do both. Like Narada Muni, he's also not neither gross nor subtle. He goes everywhere. Same way, these four, they have forms looking like human beings, but they move beyond this world too. Gross, they don't mingle with, they cannot be seen, and gross, they can be seen, they cannot mingle or go beyond this world. So like that. <clears throat> After this, Maitre Muni says, it is actually a Supreme Lord. It is actually him who transforms himself into modes and becomes Brahma and does everything. It is him who does that. No one else can do this because such a thing nobody can do. That's why we say God's creation like that. So in every Kalpa millennium, Lord transforms himself into Brahma and creates this material creation, Obidura. Next we will talk about in future, next lecture. Thank you very much.